<laughs> Except, oh, I got the Robert Lewandowski stats here in front of me, actually. So, right, versus ahead. Dortmund, 100% take on success. 43 touches. Eight touches in the opposition's box. Seven duels won. Five shots. Four take ons. Two chances created. Two fouls won. Two shots on target. And two goals. Absolutely there unstoppable. You there you go. 100 percent accuracy. What more do you want from your striker? Mm, mm. And they, and he got a yellow. Hey, <laughs> he takes it for the team, 100. percent But I wanted to get into the match ratings real quick, and these were yeah, the ahead. the who scored match ratings, I believe. Uh, do you have them in front of you as well? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, the who scored match ratings? It was. Robert Lewandowski, we'll start from the top. We're going to work our way down to the bottom because we're an orthodox like that. But Robert Lewandowski, the man of the match, he got an 8.7 for them. I personally believe, based off those stats that we just read off, so that was a cool segue. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. Uh, he deserves a 9, in my opinion. He was really great. If he gets a hat trick, that's a 10. But a 9, 9.2, that's what I would have given him. 8.7, That I don't agree with him on that, but yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of struggling to because I, I want to give it him a 10, but he was kind of ghosting in the second half. But he did score twice, and that's his job as a striker. His not, his job is not to run around the pitch and win the ball. That's our midfielder's job. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll agree with you on that. I'll I'll give him a nine here in in my in uh in ours. And this is kind of an unorthodox way of doing our play ratings, but yeah. Uh, hey, hey, listen, <laughs> first time for everything, and why not shake things up a bit? Right, right. And then, and then Kingsley Coleman going off to him, they gave him a seven point eight. We all know he got a goal. He got uh substituted off as well in the second half. Uh, I I believe he played very well though. Um, yeah. I would actually give him an eight point two. I think they got it really close, but 8.2 is what I would have given them. 8.2, mm -hmm. no Barca, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100%, no Barca, 8.2. Hopefully we clobber them again, 8.2, two, two. and the next game. I believe that's our next game. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Yeah, one, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, oh, God, it's and then, slaughtering. Anyway, anyway, anyway going, off, going way off topic, yeah. To uh, Our, our <laughs> other winger, Leroy. I actually wanted to touch on Leroy and Mueller here together because they both got the same exact score uh, score rating by them. They gave them both a 7.0. And I believe that M Mueller, because he got an assist, deserves just a little bit higher. I would have given Mueller a 7.5. I believe seven, a flat 7, 7.0 is good for Sané. He created yeah. some, some space. He created some chances. He didn't get anything off, unfortunately, but he was trying. So I, I'll give him a 7, you know? Uh, I, yeah, I'm. I'm good. Wait, you said 7.5 for Müller. Mm -hmm. I. I think I'm. I. I want to say 7.7 .7 because he was. He was. Impl he was being Müller. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like he was always. I, I. I had my eyes on him a couple of moments in the game, and he always did like waving them forward, like vita, 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 side, side. You know right, I mean? which like, he always does. Yeah, he yeah. always does that. That's his thing. So you I'm, know what, man? I'm, You've convinced me. 7.7. .7. <laughs> That's exactly. 7.7. .7, no Brazil. <laughs> no Brazil. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, uh, Goretzka. To oh, okay, Goretzka. You want to do that? We'll, okay. we'll go to Tolisso after. <laughs> oh, no. Goretzka. They gave him a 6.4. And I believe that's completely invalidating him because he actually did oh, pretty yeah. decently today. He was under the radar. He was kind yep. of low key, but he did his job. He was bossing that midfield for most of the time. He only made one or two missed passes, honestly. Like so most of his passes went through. He was our better midfielder on the day, which I have no idea why they gave Tolisso a higher rating than Goretzka. That's absolute blasphemy. It almost because makes me think that they didn't even watch the game. Goretzka deserves higher. I would give Goretzka like a 6.7, being conservative, but he gets a good goal. I mean, uh, yeah, average I mean, I under mean, the radar. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I could see that because he was also taken off. He mm -hmm. didn't play the entire game, so that's right. not his fault that he got. Um, but I'm going to – yeah, and in the in the first – hold on, hold on. I yanked – cut this part out. I yanked my microphone out just one second. Hold on. Okay. You know we back. keep the bloopers in, but we're okay. back. Let's go. We're back, okay. <laughs> um, I'd give Goretzka a 7 because in the – actually, wait, what did you say? You said 6.7? I, I, I yeah. Actually, yeah, 6.7. That's a bit too low because in the first half he was 
he was good, but in the second half he kind of ghosted and faded away. Like no, he was, I, that's why like I believe six point seven is good. It, yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. six point seven is is pretty average, but just a little bit above average, which is what yeah, I believe yeah, Ferenska yeah. had a pretty above average game, and yeah, it was he, decent. He, he didn't. He faded away in the second mm -hmm. half, like he got like he was a victim of the snap or something, and and mm -hmm. uh, but uh. <laughs> Yeah, six points. That's fair. I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, Toliban, he he showed it today. Toli, so oh my God. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Go on. This guy right here, um, deserves a four point five for me. He was horrible. I did not like his performance to win bits, not at all. And it's not his fault. He he got to play the entire game. That's Nagelsmann's fault. Yeah. He should have been brought in off after the first half, but I mean he played he played well against Armenia, but that's Armenia. This is Dortmund. Beautiful. You know yeah, what I mean? Dortmund in Dortmund. Yeah, exactly. In the Signal Iduna Park in their home stadium. I'm gonna give him 4.5. I did not like him this game, unfortunately. I don't I don't like I don't like to say that about any of our players, yeah. but I didn't yeah. like him. Of course, yeah, because even even Buna Saradona, because he's like, but anyway, that's, but like, four point. I don't think he was that bad, you know. He was, yes, he gave it, but didn't he? Wait, hang on. He he had like a pre-assist for our first goal, I believe, I th or was it Lawa's goal? Or no, it was Coman's goal where he switched it to Davies and Davies crossed it into Coman. Yeah, I think he had the pre-assist, but that's not an actual. That's not a stat. A pre-assist. What is that? You, like you know, I, I, I would I would give that to him if he was consistent throughout the game. But he yeah. was just bad. He was just bad, bad. Yeah, like, I, I'll give you that. I can't yeah. remember anything else that he did. So 4.4. 4. Yeah, that's fair. Fair enough, I, I suppose. As much as I don't like. Of course, we don't like it. We're Bayern fans. We don't want to yeah. be like, oh, he's trash. Yes, he had a horrible game. No, come on. Yeah, yeah, of and course not. not. It, it I, saddens I, me, but, but I believe it's fair. Honestly, I believe it's fair. And I'm, I'm not one of those, I, I've told you this before many times, I'm not one of those who are like, oh, take off the crap Pavard, he's crap, he's this, he's that, come on, he's a professional footballer trying to make a living, <laughs> let's stand by him, he plays for our club with our badge, yeah, right. and just, yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with you, even though I shit on him a lot sometimes, and I believe he deserves it on most occasions, but not today, Pavard, going off to him, as a matter of fact, they gave him a 6.8, uh, I believe he actually deserves higher than that. Pavard gets a seven for me. I agree. Yeah, he was. He was pretty damn decent today, honestly. Yeah, all right, I guess. And I will admit that he was pretty damn decent. And and I hate on him sometimes when I believe he deserves it. I never want to speak too ill of him, like you know, hope that something bad happens to him. Hell no. But no. seven, seven. He was good. He was decent, and I like this performance. Hopefully, he keeps that up. But the moment he starts clowning again, we get Stanisic back in. Unfortunately, he wasn't available. But seven for Pavard. <laughs> uh, uh, Opa Mechanic or Opa Mech can't defend. See, I've seen people what, four point four point eight. That's a blasphemy. It's what? a blasphemy that they gave Toliso a six point seven, considering the performance he had, and they gave Opa Mekano a four point eight, not taking into account the head knock that he got. I believe Upon McConnell should have been subbed off after that, just because, yeah. you know, a head injury might cause some concussion, even though he's okay. I believe he oh, should have gotten and brought yeah. off. Exactly. Exactly. You want to be better safe than sorry, right? Yeah. But um, he got to keep playing. He did make some mistakes, but, you know, he was running after the ball. He was trying. Upon McConnell was trying, and I respect that. For me, he doesn't get a positive rating. But it's much better than this. I will give Upamecano a 5.5, which is to me just a little below average because I believe six is average. So just a little below average, but not horrible. Yeah, that, that's fair. A 5.5, mm -hmm. you said. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I The only mistake I can really think he did, or I can really think of, is the one for Holland's the equalizer, the 2 2. That's about it. And he basically, he kind of had Holland in his pocket. And I, oh yeah, I, I remember this. I, we, we were kind of struggling defensively, especially in the, fir in the first half. Like one ball over the top, they got Holland and Brandt and, or Royce or whoever, they were in. And it's just like, it was worrying. I was like, oh crap, oh no, oh God, get out of here. Do you know what I mean? Right. But 
5.5. Yeah, I think that's fair because just a bit over, not not totally so. So in the sofa scores, oh, sofa score, God Almighty. In the who scored, would you? I think it's safe to say that you would swap Toliso and Upamecano's ratings. You know what? I, think that's- I would probably do that, even though I would give Upamecano a, a, a sm- uh-huh, lower yeah. rating than that. But I, I would swap them at least, and then I would say that they're not, you know, like hurt in the head. But yeah. Uh, really questionable ratings for me in that department, yeah. but yeah, I don't know who was watching this game, but they they must have been Dortmund fans or, yeah. or blind. Yeah, they must have been Barcelona fans, maybe trying to throw us off. But uh, Lucas Hernandez, he got My a six point seven from them, and I believe that's Robbery. way too low, way 100%. too low, because he was our best center back he was our best defensive player in my opinion actually he was our best defensive yeah. player and like we said 80 million well spent 100%. for me he gets a seven which is good because he he got brought in off as well he did save us on occasions you know what that's actually influencing me to give him a 7.2 so pretty good seven two no tottenham mm-hmm. um yeah, yeah, I, I'd, I'd go, I'd go to, to, to 7.2 because if you give him a seven, that's the same rating as Pavard. Yeah, uh, and, and I believe he deserves a little better than Pavard for sure. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. He, he tried for the Brandt goal. He tried to fling himself at the ball, like he, uh, he, he threw his body. At He's his always <laughs> a warrior, it. bro. He's a yeah. warrior. And I don't know, was it Marius Wolf who like shot it into his leg? And oh god, oh yeah, and he was standing on that leg too. All pressure was guy, on that leg. This man, this man, I'm and he screw it. wanted 7. to 5. continue. You know what? You're right. Seven point five. You have convinced me when you this reminded guy, me this of that. Man. He's amazing. The, the, Lucas FC is closed. It's been closed ever since. And there's still joined. doubters. And you know, we'll touch on that some other time, but. Yeah. Great, um, great performance. 100%. Brilliant. Of course. That's what you expect from mm-hmm. an 80 million. Mm-hmm. Whenever he had the ball in like a pressurized situation, I'm like, wait a minute. Lucas knows what's up. He yeah, yeah. I, I knew he was going to take care of it. I knew he was going to take care of it. Yeah, he, uh, he actually made Holland mad when he, I, I remember it, it, near the Oh, yeah, when they, yeah, yeah. when they clashed. Yeah. yeah. And it, and he kind that of was, just like stuck his head as I was out. Oh, uh, yeah, fair play. Yeah, 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 but yeah, but they said fair play afterwards, which was cool. I respect that. Fair you know, enough. yeah. yeah. If, that was, if that was El Clasico, they would have been lying. No, on the floor if, if, like, if oh, that was if that would have been Bellingham, though, I feel like he would have said some stupid shit. That guy's a cunt, and I just needed to get in there. I need to get that in there again. Yeah, you gotta let it out. <laughs> uh, Davies, Davies. Yep. I believe he Fun. gets a seven point two. Yeah, I, I could see that because there was mm-hmm. I can I remember one uh, chance where he he ran back and he slid tackled and he won us a corner. The one where it almost hit his hand, but it didn't. It like hit his midriff or mm-hmm. something where he slid tackled for the corner. Mm-hmm. But yeah, seven point two. I think that's fair. The guy was good. He ran, of course. Fonzie, beat me, road runner. Uh, yeah, he could have. Not his fault though. He he was in the middle. He was free. He was in a good position for Toliso, but. He decided to play golf and miss the entirely. You know what I mean? And boy, I don't know. <laughs> but um, seven point two, yeah. That's that's. I think that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. And uh, the last person on the starting lineup, Manuel Neuer, he got a six captain. by them, uh, our captain. And you know, letting in two goals, unfortunate. You know, I believe six is a fair rating. That's probably yeah. the only one I agree with them on, like 100%. Six is a fair rating. The, the, like, when like it was they were, an average performance, unfortunately. Whenever, um, what's it called? They were on the cosh and they had, like, little, or, like, set pieces and corners and stuff like that. He came out for it. He caught mm-hmm. them easy uh, mm-hmm. and all of that. I, those are standard. I expect them to make those kinds of saves. Yeah. But, but like, stuff like the whole angle, I... Could he have done better? Eh, probably. He, he probably should have done better on both occasions, unfortunately. The, the, the first, the first one, I, I think it was a bit too close for him because, like, it was a, what? Just was it ahead of the penalty uh, spot? I don't even know. Was it closer to? I'm, I'm not you, sure. You know, I, I, I just want to hold them accountable to the standard that I have him because, yeah. in my opinion, he's always amongst the best, if not the best, in the world, and that's why I believe like he should have done better on both occasions if you would have saved one of them 
yeah. then he would have been brilliant. I believe that that changes him up to like a seven. Um, if we would have saved one of them, if he keeps a clean sheet, that brings him up to an eight for me. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, he did make some good. Six, yeah. He he did come for for crosses. He did uh, kick the ball away from their position before they got position sometimes, and that's an average Neuer performance. Uh, not yeah. bad. I'm not saying he's bad. He wasn't bad. It was average. Just okay. Yeah. yeah. It was okay. Not terrible. Not not not. Uh... <laughs> where he missed the ball against Kiev and it went in or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> but anyway, getting into the reserves, uh, Zulino. Good to see him back again. Yeah, yeah. They gave him 6.2. Um, you know what? I just, I, I don't, I didn't really see too much. I believe yeah, he didn't. deserves a six as well, just because he's a nothing sub, special. average, nothing special. Six for Sule. Gnabry, uh, he did perform a little bit better. Uh, I agree with their rating of 6.2. I think that's fair. Yeah, fair enough. 6 point, because he did like a couple of dribbles. He passed the yeah. ball to like Lewa or Musiala, I think it was. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. But yeah, he, he, the chef put his apron on for a little bit and yeah. He went he to didn't work. Cook. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, went in the kitchen. Nianzu. Yeah. Oh, I, we'll say, I, we'll I, say I, the best for last in my opinion. But uh, fair, fair, uh, fair. Nianzu, yeah, he. Uh, gave a quarter at the at the end, which I believe he didn't have to. So, eh. and and he also was wait, hold on, was it him or or, or Upa Upa Meccano who cleaned out Royce? <laughs> I believe the left, where he he just kind of swept him off his feet. Not have that. You f <laughs> I believe that was actually uh, I think Upa. Was Upa. Yeah, yeah Upa. <laughs> he almost killed him. The, uh, that Nianzu, was Neymar. He would have died. Oh, one hundred. Yeah, they would have. He would have made sure that Upa got another card. But well, anyway. Nianzu six point one. I agree with that actually. Yeah, fair enough. Nothing. Again, nothing really special. Just yeah. kind of standard. No, nothing out of the out of the ordinary. No, anyway, the, the one that I believe is most egregious. They give Musiala the lowest score out of all of the subs that came on, and I believe that he was actually the best. Because, he, again, he just opens up space. Wherever he goes, he opens up space. He dribbles past a few people. He always finds, most of the time, his passes seem to find somebody. I mean, give and him he, more he, time, and he can perform. The guy, the boy is class, 100%. Mm -hmm. 100 million. He's, call me crazy here, but he, he's gonna, he's worthy. He has potential to be Müller's successor. Not, not like, like for like, because in my opinion, there's never going to be another Thomas Mula with all these right. unorthodox types of plays. And in my opinion, uh, the person who could come closest to that is Florian Burtz. Hopefully, we get him. But yeah. Musiala also is worthy of it, 100. percent Yeah, because he's like an attacking midfielder. He can he play on all fronts. He can play on the left, on the right, mm -hmm. and even like double pivot as Nagelsmann. I don't know what that's about. But Musiala I, just I, has I, it all. Honestly, he's a complete yeah. package already at this stage, and that's why I believe that their 6.0 rating is egregious, and I would Ridiculous. give him a 6.5. Yeah, yeah, 6.5. Yeah, absolutely. 6.5. Uh, strolling down here to the fans. Oh no, I, I think I know you have some some words to say about this. The fans, the signal of Duna Park fans, absolutely horrendous. They're basically showing England's type level of disrespect for injured yeah. players, booing our players who are supposed to like probably be injured, like like Lucas Hernandez. You know, just I, I don't know cheering when Bellingham knocks over Neuer it's like you know and then they were chanting Messi every single time that Lewandowski got like wow. over, over, over like a set piece like they, bro no no 100% yeah they did and so they're and that, horrible that's a player I'm sorry to interrupt that's a player who used to play for you he used to bag goals for you he scored four against Real Madrid when he was playing for zero yeah. screw it zero for the fans <laughs> I don't care I was going to nah, give him a man. two, but you know what? Zero. Yeah. They're, they're, nah, they're how can, now that you mentioned that, I was going to give him like a three or something, but nah, man. You can't. <laughs> Which, yeah, by the way, bad. I just want to make a bit of, of an asterisk here. Nagelsmann says, Lucas is fine. His substitution was a mixture of precautionary measure and the fact that I wanted him to bring, or I wanted to bring a fresh center back with speed. All right, cool. He's fine. Yeah, Sick. Yeah, yeah that, that's, cool. I expect, that's cool. I expect nothing less. Yeah, He's yeah. ready to bully Barca. And uh, the ref... You know, for me, the ref, uh, average. He was average. He was average. I, I'll give the ref a six. He wasn't. He wasn't he the was, worst. Yeah. Ref. 
he was fair. He 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 gave some calls that, uh, or he he did some no calls that, uh, for both ways, and that was fair. And and I think I heard the commentators say that there was only like three fouls in the first half. Mm-hmm. So, in in fairness, he he let the game flow in in that sense, which fair enough, fair play to him. Uh, what are you saying? Seven point zero or something? Like that? Standard seven. Nothing special. Nothing really. It wasn't controversial because it was a penalty. It was in an unnatural position, and fair play to him that he actually had a look at VAR instead of you know in the Premier League he just completely ignores the screen. But uh, the, the freaking Premier. Uh, another tangent. I'm gonna go off on here if you don't mind. Um, in in England they sing F V A R. You know what I mean? That kind that chant. Mm-hmm. But, the VAR is not the problem here. It's the people using it. The technology is not the... Anyway, that's that's just my two cents on it. Anyway, Ref, what are we saying? Do you agree with the seven or do you want to nah, I'm, I'm, No, no, I'm, I'm giving Ref a six. You give him seven? Yeah, okay, I'll meet you in the yeah, middle, 6.5. Yeah, we'll, we'll get me in the middle, 6.5. Right, yeah, cool. uh, Dortmund fans won't agree with that. But screw Dortmund fans. That's what just <sighs> uh, <laughs> uh, Julian Nagelsmann, our coach. Julian. For the most, no. For the most part, he got it right. Tolisso was completely wrong, in my opinion, keeping him on as long as he did play him the entire game. He should have brought in on Roca. He doesn't want to play him, though. Uh, he honestly has an agenda at this point, and I don't understand what it is. I don't understand how he can see performances like that and then see how Roca was pretty solid last time he played and then still say, nah, I'm not going to play this guy. I don't understand that. That is oh, that is always going to bring him down for me until he actually gives him another shot. Upamecano not bringing him off, I believe, was also kind of wrong. You just never know, you know, with the head injury. Like, yeah. bro, you never know. Um, I believe Hernandez have- could have kept playing. Hernandez wanted to keep playing. I believe he made the wrong substitution there. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, honestly. So I believe Sula should have came on for Upamecano at that uh, head injury time when he, when he clashed with Brandt. And I believe Roca should have came on for Toliso. Um, sometime in the second half, none of those happened. So that brings the score down for me a little bit. Besides that, he got it right. The formation was right. The Most of the substitutions were right. Um, so mix your bag here, but I'm going to give a six. Average. It, yeah, it's interesting how he... Uh, no, I, I, um, I, I'm kind of... Uh, uh, understanding i'm maybe this is me gr- uh, grasping at straws here but i think he ro- uh, went with toliso because of his performance against kiev and what did he say hey let me give him another go and i don't know maybe maybe that's just me but i feel like for you uh now because what is never gonna get a 10 unless he plays status itch roca and <laughs> And all, all of your boys, and he drops like a 7 nil victory or something like that. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, look, listen. It's not that he has to play all of them in one game. Make the right substitution at the right time. That's all it is. The right substitution would have been Rocco for Toliso sometime like in the 60th minute. Yeah. And the right substitution would have been bring off Pamacano for Sula after the head clash. That's it. If he would have done that for me, then he would have gotten really close to a 10 today. Like, probably a 9. But, no, it's a 6. Honestly, it's average. He didn't even really completely outclass Marco Rose. Marco Rose outclassed himself because he kind of sucks at making match plans. And it's basically just give it to Holland and in Salah. Uh, And um, his own players messed themselves up. Unfortunately, that's how we won. With That's their poor mentality, went. absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, six, six for was nine, average. Yeah. yeah. And, and okay, I, I want to point out just real quick, their best player, in my opinion, their best player is yet again Erling Holland. Because oh. of his mentality. He has a good mentality. He never quits. He always wants to keep playing. When he got brought off, he actually wanted to keep playing. He wasn't happy. And I like that mentality. And he's clinical. This guy is a unit. He's a monster. He was the best player for me. If I was going to rate him, I would give him like a 7, 7.5. Uh, Julian Brandt gets an honorary like 7 because he scored in the injury. Um, yeah. And yeah, I believe those were their two best players. Um, their worst player, uh, was, unfortunately. And uh, Bellingham is a cunt. So yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Rosa gets a 0 as well. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> 
that's because he's a clown. But <laughs> I, on Holland, really quick, I want to. I, I don't. As much as I would love him, that's wishful thinking. I don't think we're gonna. I don't know. Who? Huh? Maybe, but yeah, I don't think we're. It's gonna happen. I don't. You think know. We can get him. I'll bring you in for a transfer talk for Holland whenever we touch on him because we are going to have to touch on him at some point and we'll discuss that then because I have a lot of opinions but I be- I agree I would love him but we'll talk about that later and, I, and I also him. have a I also have a, an opinion on um, on someone else I'm not going to reveal who it is but yeah I, I want to bring someone up which I can I, I think we, we who we can also get or yeah, if yeah. we don't if we don't get uh, Holland Ooh, that would be class yeah we're going to have to set that up but yeah. this game, Der Classiker, oh, no, I, I want to say this real quick as well. Der Classiker is the best classic game in Europe right now, pound for pound. It's definitely more entertaining and better than El Clasico, El Trashico more likely. Uh, it's 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 better for, for me, honestly. Uh, it's better for me than the AC Milan versus the Inter Milan game. It's the best classic game it's even, in Europe. It's, it, it's even better than Le Classique because Marseille is clearly the biggest club in France. Come 100%. on. 100%. Yeah. And, yeah. and Manchester, the Manchester Derby and it's just oil money. I can't take the Premier League seriously anymore. I can't take oh, it man. seriously that much either. either. Uh, it, it, if, if, if we're a Farmers League, then they're a huge Farmers League. because a money league. Because Manchester City is at the top yet again and that's no surprise to me. But <laughs> Nobody cares because they're English and they have Pep Guardiola and they're the best team in the world because oh they play in the Premier League oh mm-hmm. get us fuck off yeah anyway, but just, yeah just but they don't have any Champions there. League so how are they they're curious how that works yeah. <laughs> uh, also I wanted to say real quick La Liga is going to be a Farmers League for a while to come Real Madrid are going to win it for many years to come because they're going to strengthen even more next season probably going to get Mbappe and the other clubs are trash they're at the top as well with a six point lead uh so that's going pretty well and uh yeah just wanted to touch on that and yeah it was a good game overall the classicer thank you for coming on again hunter d i know we go off on a lot of tangents but we are Bayern fans and we are passionate about the game we are passionate we have opinions so and we're 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 really biased as well yeah pretty damn biased Uh, i believe today was our least biased least biased yeah uh match ratings though just because we we had like a contrast we we, we're trying to be more real here but we are pretty biased at, at some points as well that's why bellingham is a cunt so thank you everybody for tuning in again this has been the byron post you have been hunter d always yep. great to have you on here and you guys have been amazing for tuning in so mia san mia catch you guys later <laughs>